Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K um, Hydrogen Man. So guys, I got the new 2021 Lourdes Hydro Fix. I'm gonna just unbox it here real quick and just kind of set it up here real quick and just kind of walk you guys through it because I got the newest one because there are some major changes that came through and I really, really wanted it. And I already have one. In fact, you can kind of see it right here. This one I'm just gonna be using only for inhalation because it just kind of saves me time. But I was so excited I wanted to get the newest one uh, I won't go into all the paperwork right now. They, they do have a really great certificate and showing what lab it was tested in. You know, as you guys know, the Lourdes Hydrofix is literally the only machine in the world uh, that lab tests their equipment. Hence the reason they tend to only use these in medical facilities. Okay, so let's see how simple we can keep it. It just literally just slides right out of the box. So this is just really, really easy. Let me just move <clears throat> some of this out of the way and I'll just set it up for you guys here. It's really fast, it's really easy. Whoops, I bumped the camera here. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. People are always asking how to do it and you're pretty much gonna see me do it from start to finish and it's really, really easy in my opinion, especially now that I know what I'm doing. It's just, I've learned so much about these machines throughout the years. Now one of the, let me just go through some of the changes. This is the reason that I was actually willing and wanting to get the newest one, the 2021. Everything that I've learned from this one is that basically it's it's the best. It's the best one they have ever made. And their other units were actually quite good. But the 2021, they've definitely upped the ante on this because basically what's happened is they improved the metal technology. And that's crazy guys, because they were already way ahead of everybody. They still are, even their old unit is better you know, this, these, this company and these machines really remind me of the Tesla cars. They're just so light years ahead of everyone when it comes to electric cars. And they don't even do any advertising. That's another funny thing that Tesla doesn't do. And the Hydrofix company I've never really seen do. And they just focus on making the absolute best product. And with these, they again, they just made it better. Up the ante some more. And I'm actually very impressed by what I've been learning. So let me just show you what one of the biggest differences is and let's see if I can get it on camera. I don't know if you can quite see the difference. You can see the way that the metal panel looks and apparently it's actually bigger even though you can't probably quite see it. It's bigger in circumference. The nano bubbles and the nanotechnology is even better than what it was before and it was already the best there was. And they also redid the computer. So the interesting thing about this is that the computer is actually using less power. So now it's, now it's using less power, but it's actually putting out even more hydrogen. So basically it's more efficient. If you were to compare it to an electric car, basically the electric car would be faster, but it uses less electricity. So that's something that I think is really, really neat. Uh, more than anything, I like the fact that it's just more efficient. I like the fact that it's more efficient. I like that it uses less power, but yet puts out more hydrogen in a more efficient manner. And from what I'm understanding, they're saying not only will that also improve reliability, but it's also going to improve the longevity of the device. So let's see if I can set this up here and see if you can actually see it on camera. It's gonna be a little confusing with this guy. In fact, I was thinking about showing you guys the old panel but I just don't know if you'll be able to notice the differences that much but I tell you what I'll just show it to you for the heck of it so this is the new one and this is the old one if you can kind of see it but my understanding is that it the metal goes all the way out to the edges and they have new proprietary technology where they're they're using almost like um how do I explain it? Instead of layers of metal, they've been able to put everything into one and make it bigger, again, more efficient. And let me just set it up. It's really, really quite quick. It actually comes with a cup. All the ones I've ever purchased never came with a cup. Let's see if there's a measurement here because I know how much water requires. Yeah, 100. So it needs 100 when it's totally dry and empty, which it is right now. If it wasn't dry and empty, it would only require 50 if the light was on. So let me grab some water real quick. And so let's see what this is gonna look like. Because typically, you also wanna make sure that when you're putting the water in the filter, you gotta make sure it's like going through. 
So let's see here. You want to make sure, see, I'm going to pour it. See if the water's going through. In fact, the water's kind of sitting there. It's not going down very fast. Oh, there it kind of goes. Looks like it might be getting stuck. See, normally I take the filter out and shake it. Let's see, it looks like it's kind of going through though. It's probably going kind of slow. I'll let it work on that for the moment and I'll set up the rest meanwhile. All right, so let's just plug this thing in. It should be that easy. See, that's how easy it is. Just add water. Everything else, honestly, it really looks the same. My understanding is the filters are the same. The big changes are the metal technology and the computer settings and the efficiency of the machine itself. So beyond that, they also did include, but I already purchased one, these new cannulas. So you don't need a headset anymore, which I actually kind of prefer no headset. It's just tubing that goes behind your ears and it's longer than normal. And they had to test it. And apparently this tubing is made in Japan and it is made by a Japanese company. It's actually made, oops, it's made by a company that everybody pretty much knows, it's Yamaha. And they specifically measured the hydrogen, not that the machine is making, not what's coming out here, but literally what's coming out at the tip of the nose, which is the most important way to measure it. I learned that by talking to some of those Japanese engineers and asking a lot of questions. Because a lot of people just don't understand. There's so many misunderstandings when it comes to hydrogen. And it's very, very important to understand it in order to, well, get it right. I mean, if you're wanting the benefits, then you really, you really do need to kind of understand all the little nuances and details. So let's see here. Okay, so I'm just gonna plug in the power here. Of course, what do I got? I got it tangled. All right. Can I get it untangled without spending an hour on it? <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna plug into the machine. I'm gonna also make sure, as you guys always know, that I have the rubber plug in the back of the machine. I leave the tape on. Let's see if the water went through. Yep, it did eventually, which means it's under the tray. You can check it. And you can see it's red. By the way, that's normal. When they're brand new, they're typically red. And that's it, really. It's that simple. More than anything, I'll just grab some of my distilled water, my super, super clean water. I'll just put it in the device. You know what? I probably should rinse this pitcher. Hold on, let me go wash it and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. I already cleaned it, filled that up with water and let's fire it up for the first time. Now typically I like to break in the unit, which means that I'll let it soak for, you know, a good four to six hours or even overnight. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just run it because my understanding is these newer ones, I mean, you could just run them. It, it won't make quite as much hydrogen at first, but in time it's gonna do it anyway. It's just part of the break-in process. But that's how easy it is. And I'm already a little familiar with these 2021s because my parents actually wanted another machine and I got them a 2021 because, well, they've been wanting the newest and latest and I kinda of wanted them to have the new one and I kinda of wanted to play around with it. So I've already played around with them a little bit. One thing you're gonna notice at the beginning is that it's not gonna make a lot of bubbles at the beginning. And that's normal. This is all, again, part of the break-in process. It's gonna be like that for a while. And then eventually, it'll make more bubbles. And one of the things that I've noticed about these, as far as with the one that my parents have, is that the stream of bubbles is just, you almost can't tell, but it's just a little wider. And so it doesn't look as thick and concentrated as far as the bubbles are concerned. But these things have been lab tested, and they're actually showing that they make more hydrogen than the old units used to make. And, and just a little bit more. In fact, it, it's basically what they call full saturation. Full saturation is 1.6 ppm. And that's pretty much as good as it gets without pressurizing it. And you know, typically you really don't wanna pressurize the hydrogen just because you end up losing it so quickly and it's not really, it doesn't appear to be quite as bioavailable. But that's it guys, that's how simple it is. In fact, you can already see, let me see. You can already see it making more bubbles already. But that's just the way it is at the beginning. And that's it. So this is kind of exciting for me. I've been wanting one of these new ones. I finally really, you know, finally got one. 
and hopefully this guys gives you kind of like you know the review of it a little understanding of what the differences are they're just improving them guys that's all there is to it they're improving them little by little if i were to compare it to an electric car that gets let's say 350 miles on a full charge this is probably now up to like 400 miles so it's, it's a minor improvement maybe even 420 miles or something you know just to give it a little more improvement a little more efficiency give it more reliability and just make them last longer so i think it's neat that the company continues to work on improving stuff like this because not everybody out there continues to try to improve on their product so i think that's great i'm already happy with the way they were but this just makes it that much better hopefully this gives you kind of again the review don't forget to support the channel if you found it helpful don't forget to subscribe and share and that's it guys uh, if you have any suggestions about any other videos you may want go ahead and comment below and i'll see you guys next time on the next one all right guys, so this is the 2021 model and as you can see, you don't really see a lot of bubbles actually. During the daytime, it doesn't look like that much, but when you're recording at night, like I literally only ran the machine like once or twice. And if you look, look at those bubbles. I think the nano bubbles on this new 2021 are so good that you almost can't see them during the daytime. And look at, you know, in the dark, you can, look at this. You can totally see that there's so much hydrogen in this water. It's just super awesome. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the videos.